Hey people, it's Nias talking. Now I just wanted to cover a slightly different story which piqued my interest. So this is from The Guardian. Scientists hunt a mysterious dark force to explain the hidden realm of the cosmos. Scientists are about to launch an ambitious search for a dark force of nature which if found would open the door to a realm of the universe that lies hidden from view. The hunt will seek evidence for a new fundamental force that forms a bridge between the ordinary matter of the world around us and the invisible dark sector that is said to make up the vast majority of the cosmos. The chances of this success may be slim, but should such a force be found, it would rank among the most dramatic discoveries in the history of physics. The best theory of reality that the physicists have explained only 4% of the observable universe. 96% is not explained. The rest is a mystery made up of dark matter, the strange material that lurks around galaxies, and the even more baffling dark energy, a substance that is called upon to explain the ever-accelerating expansion of the universe. For those of you who don't know, the universe is not fixed. It gets bigger and bigger and bigger. At the moment, we don't know what more than 90 per 6, 90% of the universe is made of, said Mauro Raggi, a researcher at the Sapienza University of Rome. If you find this force, it will compl- Find this force, it will completely change the paradigm we have now. It would open up a new world and help us to understand the particles and forces that compose the dark sector. Physicists to date know of only four basic forces of nature. The electromagnetic force allows for vision and phone calls, but also stops us falling through our chairs while so-called strong force, the inner of atoms, will fall apart. The weak force operates in radiation and gravity. The most pervasive of nature forces keeps our feet rooted to the ground. But there may be other forces that have gone unnoticed. These would shape the behavior of the so far unknown particles that constitute dark matter and could potentially exert the most subtle effects on the forces we are more familiar with. This month, Raggi and his colleagues will turn on an instrument at the National Institute of Nuclear Physics near Rome, which is designed to hunt down a possible fifth force of nature, known as PADME, the Positon Annihilation into Dark Matter Experiment. The machine will record what happens when a diamond wafer, a tenth of a millimeter thick, is plastered with a stream of antimatter particles called positrons. When positrons slam into the diamond wafer, they immediately merge with electrons and vanish into a faint burst of energy. Normally, the energy released is in the form of two particles of light called photons. But if a fifth force exists in nature, something different will happen. Instead of producing two visible photons, the collisions will occasionally release only one alongside a so-called dark photon. This curious, hypothetical particle is a dark sector's equivalent of a particle of light. It carries the equivalent of a dark electromagnetic force. Unlike normal particles of light, any dark photons produced in Padme will be invisible to the instrument's detector. But by comparing energy and directions of the positrons fired, with whatever comes out. Scientists can tell if an invisible particle has been created and work out its mass. Though small, though normal photons are massless, dark photons are not. Uh, for a, this is a lot of science talk, so it, it'll be harder to understand. I'm gonna leave the article in the description for so everyone can read it. Oh, I'll just read the last paragraph. Since the discovery of the Higgs boson at the Large Hadron Collider near Geneva in 2012, Particle physicists have had little to get excited about, but the dearth of new findings from major facilities has boosted efforts at smaller labs to form long-shot experiments with potentially huge payoffs. What are the odds that the Padme will find a fifth force? We are shooting in the dark in every sense, but if you're shooting, you at least have a chance. Hmm. Well, you know, it's like you said in the Bible, where God said, let there be light. Before there were light, there was a darkness. And it's like Chris Miller said, the darkness is actually one of the most powerful forces in the universe. Like light, the stars, are a very small piece of it. If the universe is just filled with black and dark, empty space. Okay, now I, I wanted to write down what I was going to say, but it was like chasing a butterfly. The more I try to pin it down, the more it disappears. So, because I'm going to be away for a few, busy for a few days anyway. I just wanted to say a few things. No. How does it go? Hmm. You know, I understand a lot of people, especially in America, are feeling a lot of pressure, a lot of stress, and some of you have been putting up with this for decades now. But I want you to understand, you must keep up your strength. 
you have, your ancestors have survived and have passed on a torch of strength, and you are the continuation of that struggle, and you will, inshallah, lead, and they will, this generation or the generation after will reap the benefits of your struggle. And for those of us who are spiritually connected, we see what is going on. You know, we see the world is not, although it seems insane, we feel a movement that the world is changing and a force is happening, even if there are so many negative things happening in the world. Hmm, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, how does it go? Uh, what else was I going to say? Sorry about this, folks. I did, like I said, I didn't script it. Now, my name means that he who shows the right path. Now, I know I have a purpose. And I know each of you has a purpose. E even if you don't think you're special, even if you don't know what it is, you have a purpose. And you have a, something to achieve in life. Now, whether you do that is a different question. But you have a purpose. And you can achieve it. So I want you to not allow yourselves to be beaten down by the world. Because it's like, what was it um, Jason Black said about the condition on the slave plantation. There had to come a fundamental point where the slave said that he just didn't want to be free anymore and he just accepted it. When you accept the way the world is, then it's finally defeated you. If, as long as you constantly want to change and are trying to change, if not the world, then if just, just change yourself. Be the change you want to be in the world. If you can change yourself, and if you can change the people around you, just affect the view of the people's lives, and your family, your friends, your community, then you are changing the world. You know, you may think that, oh, that's not having a world effect, but the world, even, even these leaders, they're just people who are followed by millions of ordinary people who feel that what they're saying is better than what someone else is saying. You know, you are the world in microcosm. I mean, think about your heart. You know, they say love make, it doesn't make the world go round, but your heart is where love is, and your heart makes, pumps your blood around your body, so love makes your world go round. So I want you to just take this away and say that you want to be the change you want to see in the world, that you will keep striving to be the best you can be, and that you will say to yourself that you will not be beaten again, because only when you give up will you ever be beaten. Anyway, I hope this job of just extreme consciousness makes any sense to you. Anyway, peace, family, comment, rate, share, and subscribe. If you want to support the channel, I'll leave the PayPal in the description. Peace.